Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to recognize what a broken padlock is uh, and actually how to recognize and understand which elements on the site are actually causing this and then help you actually go to the actual solution. Okay, great. So a broken padlock is basically a way for the browser to show the user that not all of the resources on the page were loaded correctly via HTTPS, okay? So this applies only if your website or web page actually uses HTTPS. But uh, the idea is if your HTML, if your web page uses HTTPS right here, there should be an actual padlock, okay? A padlock that looks just like this, okay? If your page is HTTPS, but some of the resources, one or more of the resources are not loaded via HTTPS, then you're going to get a broken padlock. So for example, in the Chrome browser, you do not have a padlock even though it's HTTPS. And for example, in Firefox, the same page will have an exclamation mark. Okay? So different browsers, different versions show different errors. Some may be bigger errors, some may be smaller. But uh, you definitely want to fix that and you don't want your users to not feel trust in your website. Okay. So how do you actually spot that? So what you actually do is you go to the browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome and I use the developer tools. Okay. So you can either go right here to tools and go to developer tools or you can right click on an empty area on the inspect. Okay. So once I do that, I'll receive another window here and right here on the top right hand corner, I see a, an exclamation mark. So if I do see that, I go to the console tab right here and I can see here the actual error. Mixed content, the page, which is this page right here, was loaded over HTTPS, but an insecure image, so an image from HTTP, actually, which is this one, did not load over HTTPS. So the browser is alerting the user for this. Now, in this case, this is not an image. Uh, but the browser tried to load an image. So I'll explain to you this irregular issue. But the idea is the browser recognized that everything should be over HTTPS. Some of the resources, in this case, one resource was not HTTPS. So uh, the browser gave this issue. Okay, so how do you actually find that? So let's go to the network tab right here. Let's refresh the page right now. And here are all the elements that loaded on the page. The HTML, the CSS, etc. Okay, so if I'm gonna use this filter tab and I type in mixed content, okay, now I have a resource which returns okay, it seem, seems to be okay, but if I hover over here, I can see the image that was tried to download. So this image, HTTPS, et cetera, et cetera, white down chevron.png was tried to download, but it gave a mixed content issue. So if I actually uh, open this in a new tab, this image let's copy link address sorry let's copy open a new tab right here I can clearly see that that image did not exist and actually got redirected to this HTTP not HTTPS resource so that's why the browser is basically saying you try to download something over HTTPS but it actually redirected to HTTP so not all resources were loaded over HTTPS. That's why I'm receiving the image. So this is a little bit more rare, but usually the issue would be here that your specific URL was actually not downloaded ver uh, via HTTPS. It was downloaded via HTTP, and that's why you have an issue. So regardless, even though there are a little bit different issues, the cause is the same. The browser needs to or wants to download everything over HTTPS if your URL is HTTPS. And it actually got a resource which was, in this case, HTTP. So that's why it's giving the padlock. So once you know that, you actually can work to fix this. In this case, it was a redirect. So you actually have to figure out why is this image missing? Or do I even want to redirect to that page? Or actually fix it. So, you, so once you understand that, you can go to fix it. You test it again once it's OK you'll receive a nice padlock right here. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.